Good morning, everybody. It's day six, divine intimacy, sixth day of Advent, sanctity and my duties. To them who love God, all things work together unto good. That's from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter eight, verse 28. <clears throat> sanctity does not consist in doing extraordinary things, but is essentially reduced to the fulfillment of duty. Therefore, it is possible for me. This is a really comforting thing because uh, a lot of times we think that we have to go save the world um, and slay all the dragons ourselves um, in order to be worthy of, of God or something like that. And it can be very intimidating. But uh, when we bought this house about a year and a half ago, they had, a, they had something framed on the wall that really struck me and has stuck with me. It said, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. So it's all about finding God's will in those little things, those little tugs at our heart um, to spend time with our kids, to spend time with our spouse, to, to do the little things, to, to not snap, to have patience, to, to just show generosity. I must not become discouraged by my failures, but begin again every day, every moment, fully confident that someday God will make my poor, poor efforts fruitful. Yes, even at difficult moments and in painful experiences, it is you, Lord, who come to me and ask a special act of charity, patience, sweetness, humility, or self-sacrifice. Even someone cutting me off in traffic is an invitation to practice patience and a generous charity. I have to remind myself of this. Um, it's easy to fly off the handle, but um, I, I wanna try to start being more mindful of seeing that as an invitation to do God's will and to, to be more loving and more understanding and um, forgiving. Help me to begin again every day, every instant, with profound humility for my weakness and utter confidence in your power to sanctify my soul. Have a happy Friday, everybody. Peace.